Hi, my name is Geraldine McGrath and I'm the Transition Year Coordinator and Year Head here in Castle Tri College, Limerick. And my role is to plan, organise and coordinate all of the Transition Year programme here in the school, along with encouraging and supporting each and every student on this educational journey. And my aim throughout this presentation is to equip you with sufficient information to make an informed choice. So I'm going to present to you an overview of the excellent transition year programme that we have to offer here in Castle Tri College Limerick. This is a summary of the key points of information that I'll be referring to throughout the presentation. So I'll start with the philosophy of transition year, moving down to benefits and concerns, and just to mention others like workshops, programmes, careers, online courses and other activities. The transition year is a one year programme and it's designed to act as a bridge between the junior certificate and leaving certificate programmes. Each school is completely different because it designs its own transition year programme within set guidelines set out for us by the Department of Education and Skills to suit the needs and interests of our students. So here in Castle Tri College, we promote the personal, social, vocational and educational development of all of our students. To mention a few benefits and concerns, there has been a report published from the Economic and Social Research Institute that highlights TY students get higher points on average in their leaving certificate. Here in Castri College, we offer a wide range of core subjects, weekly subjects and option subjects. So this certainly gives students the opportunity to make more informed choices. Because of the opportunities that are offered both inside and outside the classroom, it allows them to broaden their skill set, experience different things and work as part of a team. There are a number of concerns as well. I suppose number one is it's, this is not for everyone linking it into a lot of onuses on the student participation and engagement. So if you know that your son or daughter will not engage and won't participate, well, that's certainly a concern. It's not year one of a three year leaving certificate program. So, for example, I teach business for senior cycle. I will be covering topics in the Leaving Cert business course, but I certainly won't be teaching the curriculum. There is reduced homework. Um, different from first, second and third year, and your child will be in a different base class um, that they have been at junior cycle. This slide is advice from parents to parents. There are four bullet points here, just to mention maybe two of them. So the student won't necessarily enjoy everything, but this is good because we've all done jobs or part of a job that we didn't enjoy. So welcome to real life. And I suppose I'd like to echo the next point. It is true what they say. What the student puts in is what they get out. The role of the TY student is to be open minded about different opportunities, have a positive attitude towards staff, their peers, visiting speakers and to participate in all of the TY programme, whether it's inside or outside of the classroom. Students will be required to complete an e-portfolio during their reflection classes. And this is an opportunity for each student to have a reflection on their learning and keep a digital record. The role of each parent or guardian then is to encourage and support your child along the way. Complete the online application form with your son or daughter. And I would also encourage you to communicate with me or any staff member at any stage throughout the year if you have any questions at all or concerns. The transition year fee per student is €500. Euro. A deposit of €200 euro is required by the 25th of March 2022. Now, you can pay the full 500 there if you wish to, and a link will be sent to you once your acceptance slip is returned to the office. The balance then of 300 euros due before the 1st of June, and you can pay 300 euro installments, one in April, one in May, and June. And then when your child returns to school, there is an 80 euro administration fee for the journals, locker and insurance, which, which is collected in August. The admissions criteria includes the following, the case made by the individual student on the TY online application form. Suitability of students for the programme is decided by the school management as outlined in the transition year enrolment policy. And our enrolment policy is available to view on our Castle Tri College website. The total intake is not in excess of 144 students. After application of the above criteria, a lottery system will be used where the number of applicants exceeds the number of places available and a shortlist will be created for any remaining applicants. 
To apply for Transitioneer, you must click on the link on your Google Classroom on Monday the 7th of February up until the 14th of February and your parent or guardian can fill in the application form with you. The closing date is the 14th of February at 12 o'clock and a letter then confirming the status of your application will be sent to all students in early March 2022. In transition year, students are assessed through a credit system and the document outlining the breakdown of credits for term one and term two is available under the transition year section of our website. Each student then is assessed in different areas, whether it be a group work, a presentation, project, written exam. So for example, in English, Irish and Maths, for term one, it's 25 credits. For each of your option subjects, it's 10 credits. When you go on work experience, each of those are given a certain allocation of credits. And then at the end of the year, all of the credits are accumulated and then each student will get an award, whether it will be a participation, pass, merit or distinction based on the total number of credits that they achieve throughout the year. At the graduation ceremony, then awards are given out based on three categories. That's Corda, which is friendship, leadership, then an outstanding achievement. All of these awards are nominated by all of our teaching staff. Each student is given a timetable and on the timetable will always have their core subjects and their weekly subjects. So the core subjects is going to be maths, English, Irish, language and RE. And their weekly subject then will be the ICT, PE, reflection, guidance, psychology and well-being. What will rotate then is the option subjects. So here is a list of all of the option subjects. So there's option one, two and three. So every four to five weeks, a new timetable will be issued and there will be an option one, an option two and an option three on the timetable. But your core subjects and your weekly subjects will remain the same. It's just the options that will rotate. So this will give you an idea of subjects maybe that you would like to pick for senior cycle. One of the weekly subjects then that the students study is guidance and they have one class per week. And as part of this, they will do research on a possible career that they're interested in. To give you an idea of what might happen in one of the modules, so for example, I teach business to transition your students and within this option rotation of four to five weeks, students are given the opportunity to invite in visiting speakers or, or possibly go to an industry visit. And the purpose, I suppose, of going to an industry visit is to learn about how that business operates and students draft a number of questions before they go, like under different headings, such as recruitment, production, marketing, and then the contact person in the organization will talk us through the answer. Answers. In the past number of years, we've been to Carambola in Anacotti Business Park, we've been to Dromolin Castle, uh, Ishka Water, and I suppose this year we were very fortunate that Ishka Water facilitated us with a virtual tour of their facilities. And I also encourage students to take up new initiatives or organise some type of an event. And this year, one TY class group actually organised the end of year Christmas event for all of the TY students in the year. They organised Santa hats treats, music and a card for each student with a personal message written on it and I suppose virtual hugs then drawn out for the school community and one of our current TY students Dan Danielle Gaffney will speak to you now about her experience. Hello my name is Danielle Gaffney and I'm currently in transition year. In business class we had the opportunity to brainstorm ideas and we were encouraged to set up a fun and educational initiative. My friends and I decided to organise a group to read books through both English and Irish primary school pupils. We have recorded four videos for teachers in local primary schools to use with their junior and senior infant classes. This experience has helped improve my time management skills as we had to have the videos recorded on time. It has also developed my communication skills as we had to be conscious of the age of our audience. It furthered my decision-making skills as we had to decide what books were most suitable for the age group. There are many different workshops offered to students throughout the year and the length of each workshop varies from maybe one class period to one hour or two hours or even one full day off timetable. The students were involved very early on in September in an acting and drama workshop and that was two hours per class group. Again in September, the Fundamentals workshop was organised and the focus really for this workshop 
was to give the students the opportunity to work together and to get to know each other early on in the year. They worked on outdoor games with a main focus being on three C's, you know, communication, cooperation and compromise. You'll see at the end there the CSI workshop, that's the Crime Scene Investigation Workshop. That's one full day workshop per class group in school for the students and it's definitely a highlight for many of them. So they're really involved in a hands-on practical workshop. The students are taught about the scientific and practical methodologies used in modern crime investigations, which include DNA, fingerprinting and trace evidence. Work experience takes place over three separate weeks in transition year. The first week is in November, the second week is in January, and that's the same week as the ski trip. And then we have May. Now a letter will be given in the first term with the details of the November dates and you find your own work experience. So I will give you a letter, you bring it to your employer and the employer fills out a risk assessment form that needs to be returned to me prior to you going on work experience so that we can agree that you can go to that particular place. Now I will be offering extra work experiences throughout the year so you have to keep an eye on the Google Classroom and all information is always uploaded onto Google Classroom um, about around work experience. Again around Garda vetting if you're 16 years of age or over and you are going working in a creche or if you're working in a primary school you need to be Garda vetted and all those forms are available on our school website under the transition year and they have to be completed and returned to EMER in the school office six weeks in advance of you going on work experience. To mention just a few of the competitions that students enter into either individually or as a group, they are the Young Scientists, the European Parliament Competition, the AIB Build a Bank Challenge. I'm now going to introduce you to Adam Flahov, who's going to talk you through his experience. Hi there. My name is Adam Flahov and I am currently a fifth year student here in Castle Troy College and I was in transition year last year. I wholeheartedly enjoyed my experience in transition year and would highly recommend it to any students or parents considering it for next year. As part of TY's programme, I was the bank manager for Castle Troy College's AIB Build a Bank team. In this role, I coordinated a careers day event for all TY students. My team and I invited 20 plus businesses from the local Castle Troy area to speak to our students about possible career choices. The day was a great success and of great benefit to all students. Our team was scheduled to compete in the AIB Build a Bank finals in Dublin, but due to school closures in March of 2019, due to COVID-19, we delivered our presentation online. From coordinating the programme and participating in TY as a whole, I learned problem solving, communication, leadership skills and improved my overall confidence. TY really supports development of skills for life within each student. Advice I would give to any student going into TY would be to make the most of the year and get involved in everything that you can. Thanks to the hard work of our school staff, there is an excellent range of programmes, competitions and courses to suit all interests and abilities. There is a fantastic emphasis on all areas of study, both academic and non-academic, to bring students learning in and out of the classroom to a new level. We offer many different programs to students in transition year, like we offer a one day first aid course where they'll achieve a certificate in first aid. We offer a coaching and refereeing course, um, and that's a two day course. The Gashka program is run over the whole year, and the Barista course then is a course that's offered by the LCE to be the Limerick Clare Education Training Board. Again, all of the details of all of these programs, workshops will be uploaded onto the transition year Google Classroom. The Limerick Sports Partnership is an excellent programme that's offered in the University of Limerick. I'm now going to introduce you to Jack Fitzgerald, who has participated in the programme. The details of the Limerick Sports Partnership application process will also be posted on the third year Google Classroom in the next number of weeks. Hello, 
My name is Jack Fitzgerald and I'm a transitioning student in Castleford College. This year I took part in the Limerick Sports Partnership Voluntary Inspired Participation Programme. I applied for the programme last year. However, due to the current pandemic, the programme had to adapt and it moved online. I had to be interviewed through Zoom, which was a very new experience for me. Luckily, I got through the first round of interviews and then moved on to the second round and I became a successful candidate. We started the first week in January and we've been online every Monday since from 9am to 4pm. We have been covering very interesting topics and courses so far, including physical literacy, safeguarding and the fundamental movement skills. The benefit of taking part in this programme for me is that it will allow me to become a qualified active leadership coach, coaching and encouraging young children starting out in the world of sport. Transition Year is a great learning journey that has given me the opportunity to develop many skills that will be important for me in the future. It is an incredibly enjoyable experience where I can try out new subjects for my leaving certificate, being in a different base class from junior cycle and participating in many different trips, activities, projects and competitions in school has also allowed me to make new friends. Each year I organise a variety of guest speakers to speak to the students and here is an example of our four virtual guest speakers this year. So first of all we had world champion surfer Conor Maguire and he surfed Ireland's biggest wave. Past pupil then we had Erin O'Hagan who now works as a barrister. We had Paddy Stapleton who is a teacher and author of Up in the Air and he's also a Tipperary hurler. And we had Louise Cooney, who is a fashion, travel and lifestyle blogger. The activities which I've listed here are just a very small sample of the many activities that are offered in Transition Year. But these are the ones that are highlighted to us by the students each year, particularly surfing, the Kilfinnan Activity Centre and new this year, we've introduced fencing. An excellent opportunity is given to students to broaden their knowledge and skills in a wide range of online courses. And these range from health and safety, manual handling, dealing with difficult customers, etc., which they will complete throughout the academic year. The duration of the courses vary from 35 minutes up to two hours, and each course has a variety of resources, for example, a PowerPoint presentation or a video clip followed by an online self-assessment after each module. And you do not have to complete the online courses in just one sitting. And you can also break it up into small chunks if you wish. Now, students will be given an access link, which they will register on the website with their school email address and a unique password where they can access all of the courses. The ski trip in Italy is always a highlight for many of our students. And Mr. John Keegan is the coordinator of the ski trip and he will be giving us details in the coming weeks of the upcoming ski trip for January 2023. I've included in this slide here many other activities that we offer to our students throughout the academic year. And I'm now going to introduce you to Abby Hayden, who will talk you through her experience of transition year. Hello, my name is Abby Hayden and I'm a fifth year student in Castletoy College. I did transition year last year and loved every minute of it. I took part in many different activities, trips and workshops, but one of the most beneficial aspects of my TY experience was the Gashka programme. All TYs are offered the opportunity to get a bronze award in the Gashka programme, which involves doing 13 weeks of three different activities and then keeping one on for another 13 weeks. You have to do one community involvement activity, one personal skill activity and one physical recreation activity. In my opinion, the most rewarding part of Gashka was the community involvement because I joined the Irish Red Cross Cadets, which provided me with really useful first aid training. The final aspect of the Gashka programme is the adventure trip, where we went on a two day hike in Kilfinnan. This programme is done completely in your own time and is a big commitment, but I thoroughly enjoyed my Gashka experience and it gave me lots of useful life skills, as well as looking really good on my CV. One thing I know some parents and students may think about is the difficulty acclimatising to fifth year after TY. I was also concerned about getting back into a good study mindset after such a fun year, but I honestly didn't find it a problem. 
TY provides students with a well-needed break from exams and a heavy workload of homework after the junior cert, while still maintaining an emphasis on academic subjects. TY students experience a well-balanced combination of work and play, having regular classes as well as fun transition year activities. As well as that, the op option rotation of Leaving Cert subjects prepares students for fifth year and helps them decide what they want to do in the future. For me, TY option rotation was pivotal in my choice of subjects, as it guided me towards subjects I otherwise would not have even considered. Overall, I loved my transition year experience as it helped me prepare for the future and learn lots of valuable life skills, as well as being a really fun year. Google Classroom then is the main communication forum for all TY events. So anything that I'm advertising, any competition, consent forms, they'll all be uploaded onto Google Classroom. So each student will be given the class code at the beginning of transition year. And then every parent or guardian is required to download the Google Classroom app onto their digital device and to check it on a daily basis to ensure that they're kept informed of all TY activities that have been offered. And you'll be able to encourage and support your child to participate and uh, contribute in every possible way. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation. There will be a question and answer session on Tuesday, the 8th of February at 7 p.m. online. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you in September 2022.